Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 30th. Yeah, I think it's the 30th. Yeah, it is. So, right around the 30th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so. Let's just see what comes up. And not every reading is for you. So, what do we have? My nose is itching. <laughs> Interesting. I, it has it itched all day. Anyhow, what do we got? What do we got for right around the 30th? swords right off the bat so this is some sort of battle right it's a power struggle somebody's struggling they're struggling for control this is something happening that is hostile there's some sort of hostilities here fighting fighting we got an individual here that is pushing somebody away Ooh, four of cups right after it. Not happy. Uh, Overanalyzing things. Really discontent. Looking for more. We got somebody here that is looking for something more. They're, they're not happy in their current situation. Um, there's an opportunity here that has been not taken. It's not being taken or ha really thinking about it. Somebody had a big old bump on my head. Hurts like heck. Anyhow, five of swords. Five of swords. That is struggling. Really struggling. <laughs> not happy. Somebody's not happy at all. Ooh, death card reversed. Now, death card reversed is holding on. It's getting old, right? This is like uh, delay. There's been some sort of delay in an ending. Um... There could be an incident. Somebody's been held back by fear. It's going to come to an end. They've been avoiding an ending. Ignoring an opportunity. Really, really struggling. Really bad with the Five of Swords. Fives are about change. So we have somebody here that is conflicted right now. They're probably really in their ego. There's an opportunity for love here that is being ignored or missed or whatever. Death reversed. Six of Cups reversed. Nothing stays the same. Being freed from obligation. Somebody is not getting anything. They're not. They're not getting anything now. Um, something about children. Um, somebody could be packing up and leaving home with the Six of Cups reversed. They could be. They could be. They've been holding on to something, struggling with making a decision. memories uh holding on for the memories holding on you know doing a lot of thinking somebody's been doing a lot of maybe holding on for the children or for a child or but there's something to do with children here nothing stays the same nothing stays the same somebody has been really struggling with their current circumstances I don't know if they've been holding on for the children or holding on because of the home. Holding on for some reason because of ego or pride. Seven of Wands reversed. Justice reversed. Page of Swords reversed. Four of Wands. Knight of Cups. And the Hangman. And on the bottom of the deck we have the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is a welcome message of love. Now the death card in reverse could be a near-death experience. We may have somebody here that is about to lose something. They're losing their power. They had control. They had the power. Somebody has walked away. Now they're feeling complacent. It's over or it's really close to being over. 
you know, with the death cut, that's a near death experience. Somebody was avoiding challenge. They were maintaining their position. They wanted to win at all costs. They probably made a poor decision. Justice is reversed. There's been indecisiveness. Justice is the middle card. So justice is in reverse. So that's a poor decision. Untruthful. Um, not telling the truth for sure. Page of Swords reversed. There could even be some aggressive behavior here with the Seven of Wands reversed, the Five of Swords, and the Page of Swords reversed. It's like some sort of aggression. Or we may have somebody here that is tongue-tied. You know, they aren't communicating well. They have trouble with communication. Trouble with telling the truth. So somebody may have been not telling the truth about something. Um, ignoring an opportunity. Seven of Wands reverses admitting defeat. This person, and we have defeat. It's right next to the Five of Swords, like admitting defeat, um, surrendering. I do feel like we have a surrender here. It's like, because underneath the Seven of Wands, the Four of Wands, that's about commitment. It's about home. It's about happiness. It's about marriage. It's about love. Next to the Four of Wands is the Page of Cups. Okay, so right here, we have somebody here that wants a commitment. They're looking for love. They're looking for a relationship. They're looking for happiness. So this is like following the heart, expressing feelings of some sort. You know, this is courting, maybe even falling in love, deepening a bond with somebody or somebody's commitment, maybe stepping it up to a ne the next level. This may be literally getting into a commitment, like committing to something. I mean, the Knight of Cups next to the Four of Wands. I mean, this is somebody that is making a move. They're searching for love. You know, this is somebody that, that is very, very seductive, that is putting their heart into something. So somebody is going to be putting their heart into something. Underneath those two cards is the Hangman. So this is somebody who has been thinking about it. And they have been thinking about it a lot, okay? They've been sacrificing themselves for some sort of belief or some sort of cause. Maybe they were tied to something. They've been analyzing, and I see the analyzing in the Four of Cups as well. They've been analyzing, you know, their whole situation. Um, there's definitely an opportunity for a relationship and for love here. Um, but we have a person that is having a very hard time communicating their truth or communicating their feelings because underneath that, uh, behind that uh, Knight of Cups is the Page of Swords reverse. That's difficulty in communication. This is somebody who talks. You know, they talk, but they don't, they don't, they are a big talker. Okay, this is a big talker. This may be somebody that, uh, that I mean, Seven of Wands reversed. Is, we definitely have somebody that has been maintaining some sort of position. Um, they've been having a hard time letting go of a position with hey man and seven of wands reverse This is somebody that has a belief or you know, they've been sacrificing themselves to prove something I'd really see proving as well because we have the five of swords Which is proving something seven of wands. That's a proving and so isn't the hey man So we have somebody here that's been trying to prove I don't know what they've been trying to prove trying trying to prove that they are in control or something like that trying to prove uh, something and somebody's gonna be trying to prove something anyway okay there's they're going to they're gonna be trying to prove their feelings okay I think we have somebody here that is it's almost like they've reached a point where they can't fight they can't fight maybe they can't fight their feelings seven of wands reverse it's like I can't I can't fight it I can't somebody's been trying to fight it but I they may not be able to fight it anymore justice reverse lack of integrity lack of balance indecision Somebody, we have somebody that's really been in their head. They've been really struggling with uh, taking an opportunity or something like, or leaving, whatever. The, it could go either way. Six of Cups reverse is like clinging to the past, but leaving the past behind, leaving something behind. It's nearly over. This is like, it's, it's like now or never. De death reverse is a near death experience. Maybe this person isn't interested anymore. You may have somebody here that's not interested anymore because of a delay. There's delay with the death card reverse. There's been some sort of delay in, in getting the opportunity. And maybe, you know, we have somebody here that's given up. Seven of Wands reverse has given up. Somebody has given up. They've been pushed away. You know, there's, they've been pushed away. So when you, get, when you get pushed away, what happens? You give up. 
you give up. So I feel like we do have somebody here that has given up. They've given up on a contract because justice reversed or upright, whatever. Justice is a contract. There could be bad karma. We may have somebody that's having a lot of setbacks or they're having a lot of bad karma in their life for their poor decisions, for their behavior. Maybe this person doesn't act with integrity. I mean, we do have somebody here that likes to fight or likes to... I mean, the five of swords, somebody doesn't care who they hurt. This is somebody that has a lot of ego, that has a lot of pride and, you know, has no moral conscience and hurts people over and over and over again. So I feel like we, that's what, where it starts. I see, okay, so I feel like we have some, we have some sort of fight, maybe. We have a fight. We definitely have a fight with the five of wands next to the seven of wands, okay? I mean, the five of swords right next to the seven of wands. I mean, there's, there's some sort of battle here, um... Somebody may have been caught off guard by a new opportunity for love and they couldn't take it for some reason or they didn't take it because they were hung up on something else. I definitely feel like there's going to be some movement with the Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups. This is somebody following their heart, looking for love, searching for love. It's like... Uh, becoming enlightened. I feel like somebody has been becoming enlightened in some way. Um... We also may have somebody here that was trying to punish somebody. And we have punishment a couple times. I wonder if somebody was is trying to, or they were trying to punish somebody. Um, there is some sort of lack of integrity here with that justice reversed. Uh, something's a decision isn't going in in their favor some a decision isn't going in somebody's favor because they were pushed away you know because somebody was pushed away they're not fighting there's somebody here that isn't fighting i feel like we have somebody that is overwhelmed they are overwhelmed with somebody's decision they are overwhelmed with somebody's decision to walk away they're really struggling with the departure or whatever it was six of cups reversed freedom somebody's been freed or somebody's freed from their obligation um I wonder if we have somebody here, we may even have somebody here that is uh, unhealthy, okay? There's control issues. There is control issues. There could even be some child neglect here. So I don't know how that resonates with you. Something about children and neglect. We have an injustice. We have a foul from power. We have a foul from position or a change in position. We may have somebody here that is changing their position. Injustice isn't fair. Lack of lack of balance. We may even have somebody here that is mentally imbalanced or something like that. But there is some sort of love here or emotional support. There's gonna there's some sort of reunion with the four of wands or get together or party or celebration. Somebody's gonna be uh, getting together with somebody. Struggling. I mean, the, the last card out is the hangman. The struggle to let go is real. The struggle to let go of ego. The struggle to, and the it starts with power struggles as well. So we have a real struggle here. Somebody is really struggling to let go of a belief or something or something that they are holding on to. They're really struggling. They're really struggling to let go. And it may just be ego. It may just be pride, whatever, or whatever it is. The struggle is real. But feeling very, very conflicted, having a hard time speaking, having a hard time communicating the truth. Somebody's having a really hard time or accepting the truth. But this is like admitting defeat or stepping down, stepping down, changing the position. Uh, 
walking away, walking away from a hostile situation, uh, looking for something more. Page of Cups reverse now, unrequited love situation, tears, sadness, um, drama. We may have some drama. We may have a drama queen here, even. We may have somebody here that is uh, emotions all over the place. We may have somebody here that has emotions all over the place. Again, we have another child. Something about children here. Something about the children. It's not fair. It's not fair to the children or something like that. This is a decision that didn't go in somebody's favor and they're not happy about that. So they maybe, maybe we have somebody here that's going to put up a fight. They've been thinking about it. Nine of Cups reverse, really, really, really not happy. We have somebody here that is wishing, they didn't get their wish fulfillment, they didn't get what they want, they're really unhappy. This is somebody that used, is used to getting their way, they're used to getting what they want, and they're, I feel like they're angry. They're angry, I feel like we have somebody here that's angry, you know, they've been, there's some sort of abuse here, there is, I feel like there's some sort of abuse abuse of power you know I feel like we have a power hungry individual here that really wants control they really 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 want control so they're gonna change their position they're gonna change they're gonna do something somebody's gonna do something and I'm not sure it's the right thing if they're doing it for the right reasons well we do have the knight of cups that's an offer this is somebody that is going to be throwing their heart into a situation and the king of swords could be that as well could be somebody that has been extremely cold and now they're opening their heart they're really really in their emotions about whatever this decision is nine of cups reversed not happy at all this is like a letdown we have somebody here that is extremely disappointed very they are upset they are upset this is an unexpected it's a it's like unexpected conflict okay they didn't expect and this could be a rejection page of cups reverse absolutely somebody didn't expect to to be rejected and anyhow There's a new commitment here. Somebody may have gained a new perspective. Maybe they gained a new perspective about commitment and about love and relationships. Mm. We do have somebody that is walking away from a hostile situation or they're being pushed away. They're giving up. They're, they're letting go. They're stepping down from that position or they're, or they're just admitting it. They're just, it's over. They're looking for something more. There's, somebody is looking for something more. There's a decision that wasn't made in their favor. You know, it wasn't what they wanted to hear. And it's really close. Something is really close to being over. Nothing stays the same. Somebody may be packing up and leaving home, leaving something behind. They really aren't happy. They're very not happy. Okay, they're not happy at all. This is not what they asked for. This is like a nightmare. There could be some abuse. Okay, there could be child abuse or neglect or... You know, some sort of child, children, child neglect, you know, not something about the children, not helping. I don't know, something about the children, staying for the children or something about the children. I don't know what it is, but there's children involved here. Not happy at all about this situation. No contract. This is the end of a contract. But it's not over yet because the death card is reversed and the justice is reversed. So the contract is not over yet.
page of cups reversed unrequited love sad news emotions all over the place not telling the truth somebody hasn't been telling the truth I bumped my head really hard the other day anyhow um, somebody hasn't been telling the truth about their feelings ooh The emperor. So, uh, hmm. Ah, this is somebody that's about to take charge. I put it right next to the Knight of Cups. So, emperor can be anybody, okay? It can be any sign. doesn't matter what sign it is. It's somebody that is following their heart because it's right next to the Knight of Cups. Somebody that is going to be expressing their feelings. They're going to be taking control. This is somebody that is in a position of power at this moment. This is somebody that is taking action, okay? The emperor is action. Somebody that is battle, that is ready to fight. This is somebody that is making a decision, okay? They're making a decision in regards to a relationship. It's right next to the Knight of Cups. They have definitely been thinking about it. The hermit and the hangman is down there as well. We may have somebody that has been very enlightened. They've come to a point, you know, they've been isolating themselves or they've just been thinking a lot you know, thinking, you know, re-identifying themselves or doing some soul searching. Maybe we have somebody who has been doing some soul searching. Somebody could also be receiving bad or sad news about a masculine. This could have to do with a rejection. It could have to do with a father. It could have to do for, with a boss or a husband. Or This is definitely a masculine energy. Behind it is the page of cups reverse. And then behind that is an injustice. Okay, it's not fair. This isn't fair. So I'm not sure what's going on. There's somebody that, or there's been indecisiveness. I mean, we could go all day with these cards, but I got chicken in the oven that I got to take care of. So anyhow, Emperor, Emperor is taking charge, making a decision. This is not what I asked for. Behind it is the Knight of Cups reverse. This is not happy at all. This is not having it all. This is not abundance. Okay, the Knight of Cups upright is a chance to have it all. This is, it is. This is like your wish. This is what you wished for. This is what you asked for. Nine of Cups reversed is... <laughs> very unhappy with the circumstances this is a loss okay it is a loss there's probably there is a rejection here there is a rejection page of cups reversed six of cups reversed and the justice reversed it's a loss it's a loss somebody is losing maybe they're losing a, an opportunity to have it all to somebody else Maybe somebody that's wiser and knows what they want. Either way, we have a new commitment here. Or a commitment that's stepping it up to the next level. Oh, I just cut the deck to the judgment. Life-changing decision. This is a life-changing decision. This is truth being revealed. This is karma. This is being held accountable. This is the end of things, okay? So this is somebody that is ready. They're ready to be judged. They're ready for a new life. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. So we have somebody here that is ready for a new life. They're making a life-changing decision. And it does have to do with love and commitment. Final decision. Right here. Good luck. 